Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God, very God, begotten not made, of us with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also of course in the Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end, and that I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiping and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us all sing a triumphant song unto God, who has done strange wonders with his mighty arm, and has saved Israel, for he is glorified. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. According to the good pleasure of 
his corpse he heard the voice, and at once he rose up from the dead, filled with the breath of life, and glorifying thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. No. 
seed taken flat from the Theotokos, yet are glorified with the Father and the Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Give us thy peace, O Son of God, for we know no other God save thee. We call upon thy name, for thou art God of the living and the dead. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Since thou, Lord, thou art life and true light, thou hast called dead Lazarus and raised him up, for in thy power thou hast shown to all that thou art God of the living and of the dead. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou that have received so many was unable to resist thy sovereign command, O Jesus, but trembling.
childbirth, the undefiled womb from which thou camest forth incarnate, being one with the Trinity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Okay. 
changing that was made flesh from the virgin and thus endured all things as a man O Jesus but though united with us thou wast not divided from the Father's nature. O heaven of heavens and the waters of the fathers bless and praise the Lord. Glory to thee our God, glory to thee. The maker who upholds all things came to Bethany in his compassion to raise Lazarus. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. For tasted, already stinking, found in great grave loss, lacking the breath of life at thy call. O Lord, Lazarus left up, endued with all life. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The Jewish people seeing the dead man, risen to the end of praise, gnashed their teeth in fury. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O Jews, the light shines round you, but ye still remain in darkness. Why do ye doubt the resurrection of Lazarus? It is the work of Christ. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Rejoice, O Zion, and sing praises to the giver of life, who by his word has raised Lazarus from the tomb. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Then thou hast 
For he first has glorified it, glorified at all times, at every hour, both in heaven and on earth. For with long suffering and plenteous and mercy and compassion, who loveth the just man and shows mercy upon the sinner, and who calls all men to repentance through the promise of blessings to come, we see the Lord at this very hour of supplications and direct our lives in the way of thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds at rest, cleanse our thoughts, deliver us from all affliction, trouble, and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them, we may attain unto the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More wonderful than the cherubim, more glorious than the compared than the seraphim. Thou, with thy corruption, bearest God the word. And our truly faith of folks, we magnify thee. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. May God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us and be merciful unto us. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O Lady, bright of God, spotless, blameless, pure, immaculate virgin, thou who without corruption by the glorious birth given, hast united God the word to man, and joined the fallen nature of our race to heavenly things, who alone art the hope of the hopeless, the hope of those who are under attack, joy and hope of those who flee unto thee, and the refuge of all Christians. Despise me not, an accursed sinner, though I have rendered myself unworthy by my shameful thoughts, words, and deeds and through indolence have become a slave to the pleasures of life. But as the mother of God, who loveth mankind, mercifully have compassion upon me, a sinner and a prodigal, and receive my prayer, so I be offered unto thee by unworthy lips, using thy boldness as a mother, importune thy son, our Lord and Master, that he may open to me also the tender compassions of his goodness, so as to overlook my numerous transgressions, and turn me to repentance, and show me forth as a zealous doer of his commandments. And because thou art merciful, compassionate, and benevolent, be however near to me in this present life, as an ardent help and protection, defending me from the assaults of adversaries, and leading me to salvation. And at the time of my departure from this life, tear from my miserable soul, and drive far from the dark visions of evil demons, and in the awesome day of judgment, deliver me from eternal punishment, and resent me as the inheritor of the ineffable glory of thy Son, our God. May this be my lot, O Lady, most holy Theotokos, through the mediation of hell, through the grace and love towards mankind, through thine only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom I do all glory, honor, and worship, with his honor unto the Father, and his all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. And grant unto us, the Master, when we depart to sleep, repose the body and soul, and protect us from the murky sleep of sin and from all the dark pleasures of the night. Calm the impulse of the past and defend the fire darts of the evil which are crafted thrown against us. Check the turbulence of our flesh and still all earthly material thoughts. And grant, our, and grant us of God a free and recently a vigilant heart, and a tranquil sleep free from all the fantasies of Satan. Raise us up again at the time of prayer, strengthen thy commandments, holding steadfastly within us the remembrance of thy judgment. Grant us grace to glorify thee all through the night, that we may praise and bless and glorify thine all, thine all honorable and majestic name. The Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most glorious, ever virgin, and blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy Son, our God, and intercede with him, that we think he may save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my protection. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. In thee, O Mother of God, I place all my hope. Keep me under thy protection. O Holy Angel, who accompanieth my wretched soul in holy life, forsake me not, and depart not from me because of my extravagance and wickedness. Give not access to the evil demon to rule with his might this mortal body of mine, but hold me by my wretched feeble hand, lead me in the path of salvation. Yea, O holy angel of God, guardian and protector of my wretched soul and body, forgive me all wherewith I have heretofore sat in thee all the days of my life. And though this day I have sinned, be thou my shelter this night. Keep me from all the wiles of the enemy, that I may not anger God with any sin. Intercede with the Lord for me that he may confirm me in his fear and show me forth as a worthy servant of his goodness. Amen. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our whole glory to thee. Glory.
praise the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages and of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May you, who by raising Lazarus from the dead, confirm the universal resurrection for our salvation, Christ our true God. Through the intercessions of his all immaculate and our blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the unbelievable powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God bearing fathers, of the archangel Michael, the patron and protector of this holy community, community of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim Anna, of the holy and righteous Lazarus of four days, the friend of Christ, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Amen. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Forgive me, a sinner. God, forgive me, Holy Father. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Mercy. And for pious and Orthodox Christians, Lord, have mercy. and for our Father Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop John, and for all our brotherhood in Christ, Lord, have mercy. and for the civil authorities of this land, Lord, have mercy. and for the welfare of our armed forces, Lord, have mercy. and for our fathers and brethren absent from among us, Lord, have mercy. and for those who hate us and those who love us, Lord, have mercy. for those who are kind to us and minister unto us, Lord, have mercy. for those who have requested our prayers, unworthy though we be. Lord, have mercy. And for the deliverance of captives, Lord have mercy. and for travelers by land, sea, and air, Lord have mercy. and for those who lie in sickness, Lord have mercy. And let us pray also for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, Lord have mercy. and for the soul of every Orthodox Christian. Lord have mercy. Let us bless God-fearing leaders, Orthodox bishops, the founders of the Holy Church, and our parents and teachers, and all our fathers and brethren gone before us, the Orthodox who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy. And let us say also for ourselves. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord, I love you. Oh. 
This evening we begin our celebration of the uh, resurrection of Lazarus. And in doing so, rem- remember and recognize in that uh, a great symbol of the universal resurrection, uh, which is for us as well, as Christ raises Lazarus, who is dead in the tomb uh, over three days, and uh, four days in the tomb. And so we give thanks to God this great day uh, for this glorious resurrection, which has been prepared for us as well, uh, as he reminds us and shows us forth in this uh, wonderful feast, in this great uh, miracle of the raising, raising of Lazarus from the dead. Tomorrow morning, we will celebrate liturgy for this great feast uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, so hopefully you will be able to join us then as well. And I encourage you, if you haven't, to read that canon that we sang here this evening. Uh, there are some beautiful lines in it in particular uh, as, we, as we look at it and read it, as we listen to it, uh, as it, it really as death speaks to Lazarus. Uh, and, and read and reflect on those uh, as he realizes that he is lost, uh, for the victory has been won, indeed, as Christ raises him from the dead, raises, raises Lazarus. God bless you all this evening, uh, and God willing, uh, you'll join us tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for liturgy for this great feast.